here with Danielle Washburn, and we are going to share with you how to use technology, incorporate more technology in your lesson planning to create backpack artifacts. Uh, most of you are using illustrative mathematics, so that's what uh, we use for this first presentation. And it's not a big deal if you're not, because it is a free resource. You can uh, access the resource through these links here. So we have im.openupresources.org or im.kindlehunt.com. In addition, we have several different real world uh, applications of math in our curriculum frameworks. It's down at the bottom and it's called real world math. So it's not a big deal if you don't have access or you're not using it, you can always use it for free or um, use one of our other resources in our curriculum frameworks. But in seventh grade, we're gonna focus on unit one, lesson 13. This was um, about creating a scale drawing. So at the end of every unit, there is a task that puts all the components of the unit together. And you can easily take that and develop it into a project to use throughout the unit. All you have to do is just create a rubric with your PLC and determine how you're gonna break down that project. And it actually, in the lesson plan, it shows you how to break down the project. So this has three different parts. They're gonna create a scale drawing of their classroom. The first step is that they have to plan and measure. So they're gonna to have to sketch a rough drawing and they're gonna decide what measurements do they need and what tools are they gonna to use to measure the actual size of the classroom so that they can create their scale drawing. The second part is to calculate and draw. So they're gonna select paper size, decide on their scale, and then create their scale drawing from their rough sketch. The third step is to reflect and discuss. So they'll meet in their small groups and they'll share their scale drawing, why they chose the scale that they chose, and they'll evaluate each other's decisions and ask questions and reflect and make any uh, clarifications that they need. Modifications that you can make to it, you know, they could draw a floor plan of different parts of the school and then reassemble into a scale floor plan for the entire school. So each student would have a different piece of the school and then together as a class, you'd create the entire school. They may create a scale drawing of the dream house or we're building a new middle school. So maybe they create a scale drawing of the new middle school. You can give the students the option to create their own scale drawing of something they enjoy. Just if, if I'm baking a cake, I still create a scale drawing of what I want it to look like so I know what how many um, materials I need when I bake it. So they can create their own scale drawing. In the IM lesson plan, it does go into more detail about how to break it down, how to launch it, how to group students. It also has your supports for your ELL and ECE students. And it gives you questions for you to consider to allow students to dig deeper into the standard and what questions you need to ask if they have trouble getting started. So now I'm going to turn it over to Danielle, who's going to talk about how you can incorporate technology into uh, this project. So this is an example of how or what students can create using technology. So I am going to click on this example right here. Uh, this is a scale drawing of Mrs. Washburn's classroom. Um, it was created using Google Drawings and every single square is a 30 by 30 inch. Let me show you how to create that scaled drawing. So I will go to Google. Um, I am in my waffle, so I am signed in to my account. I do click on my waffle. I go to my Drive account. So now I want to go to new, go down to more and click on Google drawings. Um, the very first thing I want to do is to change my background. Again, students can decide what color background or what they want to be as their background. So to change my background, I do want to right click on that particular document go down to background and I can change that color. Um, and as you can see, you have a variety of different options. You can also customize your color as well. Um, but I'm gonna keep it simple. So I am going to choose white. Now white is my background. Now I am ready to build my grid. I'm gonna do a little trick. So my grid is I'm going to insert a table. So I am gonna go up here to insert, go down to table, and I am going to create a 14 by 14 table. 14. 
down one more. And now I have my grid. Um, so now I'm ready to add a few objects. And again, this is after students have measured that particular object and they have determined their scale. Um, so if I want to insert a square table, I will go back to insert. I will go down to shape, go over to shapes and insert a square. And I can use my grid to determine um, how my table will look. And as you can see, it is automatic baby blue, but I can change the color of that table. Um, so right here to fill color, just like the background, I can change it to any color that I want. Uh, my favorite color is purple, so I'm gonna choose purple. And now I have a purple table. Uh, so students can get creative. They can insert different shapes, um, different pictures through Google Drawings as well. Uh, so now I am going to turn it back over to Sarah. Yes, and so the last slide, we have our contact information so that you guys can contact us if you have any questions. So let me share that so that you see it because um, we are here to help you and we know that this kind of requires you to look at upcoming units and determine what and how you want to incorporate technology so our contact information is here you can contact me or Casey and we can always work with Danielle to provide um, different options for you and then Danielle's email is there as well if you have an idea that you want and you're just like how do I incorporate technology or what other apps are out there that I can use you can contact her directly but we're here to support you and help you create and incorporate more technology so if you have any questions just reach out that's what we're here for